Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Last April, the fishing community lost a great icon, angler, and friend. Jose Wahebe died in a tragic plane crash on April 6, 2012. Jose was the host of the popular TV show, The Spanish Fly, which aired on the Outdoor Channel. Now, through the show, Jose was able to share his love and his passion for fishing. He was also able to inspire so many people around the world. He was born in Havana. And after his family escaped the Castro Revolution, they fled to America to start over with nothing. Life was hard at first. But at the age of eight, his father took him fishing for the first time in the waters of Miami's Biscayne Bay. From that point, the youngster would be consumed with a lifelong fascination with life under the sea. Endlessly curious, the young man would study and befriend the greats of fishing. He worked odd jobs so that he could buy a skiff. And by age 18, he had earned his captain's license. He learned day by day the fundamentals of fishing. He wanted to be the complete angler, with not only the skills and experience, but the knowledge of how life in the sea works. He wanted to be the best. Jose Wahebe continued to hone his fishing skills as a young man, working a regular job of diving for tropical fish and later training sea mammals at the Miami Seaquarium. He would spend any spare time fishing and guiding in the waters of South Florida. His unique experience helped him to develop as more than a fisherman. He was not one to be limited to the deck of a boat with rod in hand. He knew that fishing could be much more. It could take you all the way into a world of remarkable adventure, both mentally and physically. Jose also unselfishly donated so much of his time, money, and equipment to countless charities throughout the world. Today I'm going to be speaking with his daughter Chrissy, who is honoring her father's legacy by sharing his passion to help others through the Jose Wahebe Spanish Fly Memorial Foundation. Chrissy, thank you for joining me this morning. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. Chrissy, it sounds like your father was such an incredible man. You know, he was uh, an amazing father. He was very generous with his time. And from what people tell me and what I've experienced, he's a pretty good fisherman too. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was good at that. Yeah. Did you get to spend a lot of time with him on the water, Chrissy? I, you know, especially when I was younger, before the show, uh, he did a lot of exploring uh, all around the flats and especially, you know, offshore too. So, you know, we got to spend a lot of time when I was younger. And then when I came down here uh, about three years ago, we definitely would hang out a lot and do a lot of things out on the water. He definitely got into kiteboarding the last couple years and would take me out on that a lot. So that was really fun. Oh. So you got to spend then a lot of time with him before your father passed away. Yeah. Um, you know, I, uh, I lived away from the Keys for a couple of years, uh, but I'd always come back here and visit him, Christmas break, what, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But moving back down here about four years ago, uh, we definitely got to spend a lot of time. We lived on the same island, pretty much across the street from each other. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. It was really special, and I'm really grateful for that time we got to spend together. Great. Now, I, I know that your father was so passionate about the show he was hosting, The Spanish Fly. Was this a dream of his, Chrissy? Um, you know, I, I think it kind of just fell into that. Mm -hmm. um, there was a production company that approached him about a Spanish uh, fishing show mm -hmm. called Odisea de Pesca. Uh, and I remember that they did a pilot, they did a lot of filming for it, and it didn't end up taking off. And then some of the people who saw that all, um, offered him a job for his own TV show. He guest starred on uh, Walker's K Chronicles quite a few times. They had the Red Bone Tournament that they televised, and he would be on that too. And that's actually where he met the producer of the production company. 
and they move forward from there. Great. Well, it definitely happened for a reason because your dad did awesome with the show. And another thing that your father was so passionate about, Chrissy, was he was so passionate about helping others and helping countless charities throughout the world. He, uh, he was so generous with his time, with, you know, monetary equipment, you know, whatever the case may be. And one thing that he always said about doing these kinds of, you know, helping others out or doing something with Make-A-Wish, whatever it may be, that you really get a lot more than you give from it. And doing, starting to get involved with the foundation and uh, doing all these different things, I, I know what he was talking about now. Mm -hmm. Well, that passion that he had to help others is what started your father's foundation, the Spanish Fly Memorial Foundation, which we'll be talking more about this morning. We're going to take a quick break right now, but it sounds like you guys have done some amazing things so far, so we'll be talking all about it. Stay with cool. us. There's much more to come.